Victor's Conquest going to get a lot of views because uh, I'm filming a lot today and I don't change my shirt while I'm filming. It's all one day. Hey everybody, it's Mama J and we are here with two more packs of the American Bandstand cards. Last time we opened two packs. Uh, we got a lot of them, but I really dug the Peter Frampton and the Devo one. So we're going to open two more and we're going to see what we get in these two. And hopefully we get something cool. Ooh, we got a familiar scene. It's the dance floor. And the trivia question says, In 1957, Danny and the Juniors had a big hit about dancing. It was A, the peppermint twist, B, at the hop, or C, the holy goalie. Yeah. All right, next card is Del Shannon. And the trivia question is, One of the most popular line dances from the late 50s was A, the stroll, B, the mashed potato, or C, the twist. I can do the hand jive. <laughs> rate a record. This is when they used to rate the records. One of the very first new dances to be popularized on American Bandstand was A, the Ferg, B, the Holy Gully, or C, the Bop. Next card is Neil Sedeca. For him, we have, in 1957, the duo of Tom and Jerry performed an on A, B, they later became A, the Everly Brothers, B, Simon and Garfunkel. Next one is Andy Williams. All right, Andy Williams trivia question is, the Smurf and the Bird were popular dances on American Bandstand in A, the 60s, B, the 70s, or C, the 80s. Um, the Dovells. Novels? Let's see, their trivia question. American Bandstand began as a local show called Bandstand on Channel 6 WFIL in Philadelphia in A, 1952, B, 1955, or C, 1956. Next card. Oh, hey, hey, we got Bo Diddley. You don't know Bo Diddley. I don't know Bo Diddley either. All right, anyways, the first record played on American Bandstand's network debut in 1957 was A, whole lot of shaking going on, B, yankity yank, C, at the hop, right. oh, Dion, all right, and his trivia question, D, D Sharp recorded this song that was also the name of a very popular dance in 1962. Its title was a, the Watsutsi, Watutsi, I have not a clue who, B, Hitchhike, or C, Mashed Potato Time. Another one of those, get our country um, cards. All right, so that's, we're going to open one more, and here we go with our fourth pack. Johnny Mistero, trivia question. Dick Clark's trademark sign-off gesture at the end of the show was A, a big wave, B, a little salute, or C, blowing a kiss. So how did Dick Clark sign off? Uh, B.J. Thomas. American Bandstand began in this city as a local TV show in 1952. The city was A, Philadelphia, B, Boston, C, Pittsburgh. Okay, this is a cool card. I like this one. I used to have a Marie, a Donnie and Marie doll when I was little. Then my dog chewed Donnie's head off. <laughs> so my mom got me another Donnie doll. And then Donnie came with purple socks. So I had an extra pair of purple socks and I used to make Marie wear them. <laughs> Anyways, okay, probably more than I need to share. American Bandstand moved from Philadelphia to Los Angeles in A, 61, B, 70, or C, 64. Oh, this is another cool one. Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Hot pants with matching boots were a popular fashion in A, the mid-60s, B, the 70s, C, the early 60s. So that's a cool card. Oh, we got Otis Redding. Uh, American Bandstand first network show on ABC TV took place on August 5th, 19, A, 58, B, 53, C, 57. We got Ray Stevens. A dance known as the Smurf was made popular in A, the 60s, B, the 70s, C, the 80s. I swear I thought we had that question already. Did we already have a Ray Stevens card? 
Oh, because oh, I didn't think any were duplicates so far. All right, blue rolls. Wow, they made the trivia question for him so tiny because he had so much info. Claim diggers from the 1960s referred to A, a new type of dance, B, a fashion, or C, beach music groups. That was the rolls on the front. The 10th anniversary of American Bandstand. Be My Baby was a hit for this group in 1963. The group was A, the Chiffons, B, the DeVilles, or C, the Ronettes. All right, that's pretty cool. The 10th. And another one. Get your country music. All right. But let me know which cards you like down. I like the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And probably Marie Osmond, I would say, was the next because it brings back a memory for me. So let me know which ones you like down below. And don't forget, check us out next week. We're going to have two more packs. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.